Retention gang, no fab gang, semen retention makes you aggressive. Guys, I'm telling you, semen retention and aggression is so crazy, right? Oh, young men, we have sleeping lion inside of us. Every man has the heart of a lion inside him. And this lion becomes activated when you start to practice semen retention. Because guys, semen retention is going to awake the sleeping lion that is within you. And it is going to make you fearless. Semen retention, guys, is an antidote to fear. I'm telling you. So semen retention is going to drive all your fears away. If you are suffering from some kind of fear, you lack the charisma, the charm, the confidence to speak, to be bold, guys, you got to make this practice a lifestyle. And I'm telling you, it is going to make you so vibrant. It is going to make you so energetic. It is going to make you so courageous. It is going to make you guys so brave. When you start to practice semi retention, guys, your energy level becomes so intense. I'm telling you. All right? And people dare not to step on your toes. If you will not mind them, you will not, you will not mind them. But if you really want to mind them, guys, and you roar, they cannot resist. They cannot stand your roar. When you begin to speak, to roar, when anger hits, when they provoke the lion that is within you, the sleeping lion that is within you, your anger, guys, that sound that comes, shut everything down. Semen retention, guys, is so crazy. It makes you very much aggressive and nobody dare to mess up with the person practicing semen retention. If you step on the toe of a person practicing semen retention, guys, it's like you have stepped on the tail of a lion. And when you step on the tail of a lion, what happens? The lion will devour you. Guys, this is so crazy. This is so powerful, right? I have my own share of the aggressiveness. Guys, uh, let me share this uh, story with you. There was this neighbor of ours, right? And we have problem with um, our, uh, how do we call it? There is a problem with the plumbing work, okay? Because of uh, a heavy downpour, uh, flood occur, and the flood uh, that occur break one of the tubes that the wastewater pass, passes through, right? So this lady, this neighbor of ours, came and made complaint to me, right? And fortunately, unfortunately, unfortunately, guys, um, we lost our landlord, right? So um, the people that are acting, okay, are also not around. So I need to call them and talk to them about the problem so that they can fix it. So you made a complaint. I've heard you. I called the people involved, informed them, and they said they will come do it. Now, still, this neighbor of ours keep on making noise, shouting here and there, you know, and I have taken enough of that. So, one time, one day, the neighbor was making the noise, and I got to confront her, tell her that, what she said to us, we've heard it, right? And I have, in fact, reported, okay, the problem to the people involved to come solve the problem, all right? I was angry, I was provoked, so the voice I was using, guys, 
was that of a lion. Okay, so after the whole scene, after the uh, whatever that transpired, later I heard her say, Is that how this guy is? Is that, is that how this brother is? Yeah, guys, people sometimes take you for granted if you don't talk. Right? If you decide to remain silent, to be a sleeping lion, they think, no, you can't talk, so they want to ride over you. But I'm telling you, you can't mess up with a person practicing similar retention. If the person decides not to mind you, that is a different thing altogether. But if the person says, hey, I'm going to take you on, you can withstand. Because the energy level, the vibration, the aggressiveness, guys, it is so sick. I'm telling you, it is crazy, damn crazy, right? And you dare not be messing up with someone practicing similar retention. Guys, this is not just the story. There are so many encounters I had with people, you know. Where they got to step on my toes some I don't mind them some too I got to react so that they know that yeah I'm not excuse my language a fool right that you can be you know stepping on my toe all the time and I will keep mute or keep quiet over it all right so sometimes I roar and in fact when I roar all doubts, all fears, cease. <laughs> guys, these things I'm telling you guys, it's so crazy. Aggression, consumer retention is so powerful. That is why, um, you know, the boxers, if you want to be a boxer, retaining your seed helps a lot. Because it's going to provoke you awake the lion that is within you and that is going to help you with your training that is going to help you when you face your opponent in fact you will spoil the face all right if you get some kind of hard work that you do like construction or something guys makes very retention at practice and you will see the energy level Okay, you'll be so vibrant, you'll be so aggressive in whatever you're doing, right? It is so powerful. But let me sign this word of caution to you, guys. Yeah, aggression is there, but you got to know how to react sometimes. Don't overreact. Don't misuse the energy to threaten the life of others. The life of people all right if people um, don't offend you some petty petty things little little things you can overlook it and go your way all right just don't mind okay but you cannot also be silent all the time there are times I know you definitely going to react when you speak people are gonna see the confidence level they're gonna see how brave, how courageous you are. Civil retention is there, is there, is them powerful. Is them powerful. The way you're gonna react to yourself, you have no clue about it. You 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 wonder where the energy is coming from, where the power is coming from. This is this is it's so crazy, guys. It's so crazy. Civil retention, guys, makes you so 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 aggressive, right? Makes you so aggressive. So guys, as I'm saying, you got to learn to control yourself. Certain things you can overlook and just let it go. Just let it lie. All right. Okay. You got to remember that the slow movement or the silence of a lion is never a mistake. It is a calculated accuracy. As the lion is silent, quiet. The lion is thinking, if you dare throw a stone at it, you will see, it will roll back at you, and in fact, 
devour you. So be careful with people practicing similar retention. They are so aggressive. And I believe that is the reason why the elite, right, is hiding this. The elite people, the masses, the system is being controlled to make people keep on spilling this vital seed out of them so that they become coward. They can easily be manipulated. If you start to retain your seed, in fact, you cannot be manipulated. There is nowhere you cannot enter. If you have an issue, there is nowhere you cannot penetrate into. If you say you want this, nobody can stop you. You go in there, all right? No matter the age of the person, no matter the officer, you, you just go in there to speak to the person. That is how it is, guys. Similar retention makes you so courageous. It makes you so brave, all right? It makes you so vibrant and aggressive. And if you say, I am going for this, nothing can stop you. That is why similar retention helps with manifestation and it helps you to become great in life because it energizes you in whatever you choose to do. It is damn powerful, guys. Similar retention. The practice is so helpful. It is a life changing tool. It is a self development tool that you don't have to um, take it for granted. Right. So, guys, that is it. Thanks so much for watching this. I'm out, guys.